Hello, welcome to this video. I'm previous the tutor. We'll look at physics. And our first topic in this video we'll look at the pendulum. The simple pendulum. What's a simple pendulum? Actually, this pe the, the, the pendulum is an instrument used to measure time. So it's an instrument for measuring time. We use it to measure time. Now it has got certain characteristics. So it has got a support, quite a support. This is the support. Then just got these round things we call them the bob. Then it has got in in extensible string. It's very thin, such that it doesn't affect the mass of the bob as it's swinging. Now, let me call this part a bob. B and C from A to B A to B that makes a quarter oscillation B to C also makes a quarter oscillation A to C makes a half oscillation now a to c and back to a that makes one complete oscillation in short that's a frequency so a to b there is a quarter so A to B there's quarter, even B to C there's quarter. But when you move from A direct to C, that is A, you pass B, you also go to C, you make a half oscillation. But when you move from this side, then you come back again to A, which is this part, you make one complete oscillation. Now there are certain terms associated with a pen pendra, such as frequency. Frequency is the number of complete oscillation. Complete oscillations made in one second. One second. So it's given by frequency is equal to number of complete oscillation over time, time taken. Okay. For example. Can give an example here. A pendulum with a twenty complete oscillation takes five seconds. Calculate the frequency. You know that frequency is equal to number of completion over time taken. Number of complete oscillation is 20. Okay. Over the time taken is 5 seconds. Make sure that your time is in seconds. Then we have 4. Frequency, frequency is measured in hertz. So we call it hertz. But the symbol is H and D small letter Z. That's how we can find the frequency. We have period. The time taken to make one complete oscillation
So the time taken to make one complete oscillation is given by period is equal to time taken over number of complete oscillation. And the, its units are seconds. It's monitor S. We can look at an example. A pendulum has 10 complete oscillation made in 5 seconds. Oh. So what is the period? Remember that period is equal to time taken over number of complete oscillations. The time taken you have is 5 seconds. So you put 5 seconds. Wow. The number of complete oscillation is 10. So this will give you 1 over 2. This will give you 0 0.5 seconds. So that's how you can find period of the pendulum.